Hi, let's read a book together. This is A Silly Snowy Day, written by Michael Coleman, and the pictures were drawn by Gwyneth Williamson. Let's read. Ho hum, yawned Mr. Tortoise. Winter's here. So it is, yawned Mrs. Tortoise. Come on, Shelly, time for bed. But I don't feel sleepy yet, said Shelly. Ridiculous, cried Mr. Tortoise. All tortoises go to sleep for the winter. Why, asked Shelly. Because it's cold outside and there's no food. But I don't want to go to sleep, said Shelly. I want to see what winter's like. Ridiculous, cried Mr. and Mrs. Tortoise together. Who ever heard of a tortoise outside in the winter? Soon, Mr. Tortoise began to snore. There he is. And not long after that, Mrs. Tortoise began to snore. There she is. And not long after that, Shelly left her nice warm bed of leaves and out she went through a hole in the shed to see what winter was like. Outside the shed, Shelly blinked. There was snow and ice everywhere, even on the duck pond and on the hill. As she lumbered along, a duck spotted her. A tortoise out in winter, quacked the duck. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly. Oh, no? Then let's see you break through the ice to get food like I can. Ha, quack, ha. He's right, thought Shelly. I can't do that. I don't have a bee. As Shelly began to walk up the hill, she met a dog. There's the dog. A tortoise out in winter, barked the dog. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly, feeling a little cross. Oh, no? Then let's see you keep warm by running around like I can. Ha, woof, ha. He's right, thought Shelly, sadly. I can't do that either. The dog ran off after a cat, but the cat climbed up a tree. She looked down at Shelly. There's the cat. A tortoise out in winter, meowed the cat. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly, even more crossly. Oh, no? Then let's see you run in a nice warm house as quickly as I can. Ha ha, meow, ha. She's right, thought Shelly, shivering with cold. I can't run like a dog or a cat. I'm just too slow. The cat raced off into her house before the dog could catch her. And Shelly trudged toward the top of the hill where she met a bird. There, the cat and the dog running away. And there's the bird. A tortoise out in winter, cheeped the bird. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, snapped Shelly. Oh, no? Then let's see you fly home and cuddle up with your family like I can. Huh, cheep, ha. Huh. Of course I can't fly, thought Shelly. I can't even hop. Huh. So 
Lily felt cold and miserable. She remembered her warm, cozy bed, and a tear trickled down her cheek. They're all right, she thought. A tortoise out in winter is ridiculous. She was so sad she didn't notice the big patch of ice up ahead. And she slipped on it. Shelly fell over backwards and began to slide down the hill. Faster and faster she went. And faster than a dog could run, faster than a cat. Until suddenly she hit a bump. And flew into the air like a bird. Whee! With a thump, Shelly landed on the icy duck pond and slid toward the hole in the shed. But it was all covered up with ice. Ha! Quack! Ha! What did I say? cried the duck as she slid by him. Where's your beak to break the ice with? I don't have a beak, thought Shelly. But I do have... a shell. And tucking her head inside it, she broke through the ice into the shed and home. Hearing all the noise, Mrs. Tortoise woke up. You haven't been outside, have you, Shelly? A tortoise out in winter, said Shelly, snuggling into her bed. And before she could say, ridiculous, she was fast asleep. That was a silly snowy day. Thank you for reading with me. See you next time.